guys, Andrea here from BettyRocker.com. Today we're gonna make a nut-free, vegan, sticky, decadent caramel sauce. So to get started, we need four ingredients. Raw coconut butter, and this is finely ground, dried and pressed coconut meat, still in raw form. And we've got a raw coconut nectar, which I think of as like the maple syrup of the coconut palm. Also low glycemic and really sticky and sweet. I've got a little bit of vanilla extract and we're gonna use a few pinches of a pink Himalayan sea salt. So to get started, we're going to have a, our stove top. You can also use a double boiler or a food dehydrator. But I've just got this little burner set up at the lowest setting possible and we're gonna gently melt our coconut butter. We basically just want this butter to start to break down a little bit um, and get kind of creamy. And this recipe uh, in full with links to where you can buy all of these ingredients is on bettyrocker.com. So you can see it doesn't take too much heat until it's starting to mash up. And um, we use roughly three tablespoons of coconut butter. And then I'm gonna add in three tablespoons or so of the coconut nectar. I always say it's like honey and maple syrup got together and had a baby. You can just see here how the two are coming together really nicely and forming a really nice easy caramel. And because I like my caramel more on the salty side, I'm gonna use about three pinches of sea salt. And I'm gonna pour in a teaspoon of vanilla. And all I have to do is keep stirring and it's pretty much ready. This will keep in the fridge in a sealed jar for actually quite a long time. And it makes an incredible filling on chocolates. Um, so as it cools, it will thicken up a bit. And I'm gonna go ahead and show you how delicious this is over an ice cream sundae. Okay, so I'm just gonna show you one of my favorite ways to serve up this sticky vegan caramel, and that's over a vegan ice cream. Uh, so I've got a homemade vegan ice cream, and there's tons of ice cream recipes on bettyrocker.com. And I'm just gonna drizzle my caramel and throw a few cacao nibs and maybe a walnut or two. All right, I hope you guys enjoy this recipe as much as I do. It's crazy good. Oh my gosh. Now it's so good, I promise you.